It's new this morning. Commercial space company Sierra Space raising a mega series A round, a total of $1.4 billion in new capital. The round is led by General Atlantic, co to management, and includes BlackRock, making it one of the largest series A rounds of the year. Joining us right now, first on CNBC, is General Atlantic Chairman and CEO Bill Ford and Sierra Space CEO Tom Weiss. Good morning to both of you, gentlemen. Uh, it's, this is a, a massive deal uh, at, a, uh, at a big valuation and a lot of real capital going into this. Uh, Bill, walk us through the investment thesis. Great. Thanks, Aaron. Great to be uh, with you again this morning. We couldn't be more excited about uh, our investment in Sierra Space and partnering with uh, both Sierra Nevada, the Osmond family, and Tom Weiss. Uh, we see a tremendous commercial opportunity developing in space. The low Earth orbit market today is over $300 billion in size and growing rapidly. 3,000 low Earth orbit satellites, 100 plus launches per year of new rockets. So this is a real market happening now and uh, it needs capital to execute its business plan. But when you hear Tom talk about uh, our transportation business servicing uh, the International Space Station, and these the satellite constellations, and then longer term our space station business. I think you'll see why we're so excited about this investment. Hey Tom, uh, help the audience understand uh, um, exactly what Dream Chaser is and and how it's different um, or similar to to things coming out of, for example, SpaceX and Blue Origin and the like. Yeah, and first of all, just good morning. Thank you for having us on. Uh, Dream Chaser is a really revolutionary new space transportation system. It's the only space plane in the world today. Uh, and it's very unique from the standpoint that it carries a tremendous amount of uh, both cargo and crew up to the International Space Station. Uh, space Station. But it also uh, comes back and, and lands at any airport virtually in the world that a 737 can land. Uh, it carries non-toxic fuels, and so when the aircraft, uh, spacecraft lands, again, you can walk right up to it. So it's very unique in the standpoint. It's the only system that lands at a runway, uh, and, and you can walk right up to it. The crew can walk right off of it. Uh, and again, for experiments, it's really important to bring those experiments back in a very timely manner and have them come back into the atmosphere in a very smooth, low-G ride. Um, and so it's very uh, revolutionary in terms of its capability. So, so what kind of assignments can you capture that maybe a SpaceX or a Blue Origin can't? And I know that you're, you're partnering in certain cases with Blue Origin. Um, but and, and then and, and what things, frankly, can't you compete for? Yeah, I appreciate the question. Um, we compete when we have. Uh, people that want to land back at an airport versus being plunged into the ocean. Uh, and we think that most of the people going to space are very excited about coming back and landing in an airport, just like an aircraft, versus, again, being uh, put into the ocean and have to be recovered. Uh, the same thing with cargo. Uh, uh, most of the cargo that we see um, really wants to make sure it has a smooth ride back to, to, uh, to Earth. Uh, these experiments are very delicate. The cargo that's coming back is very delicate. And so it's very important for most of the customers that we're talking to, to have that smooth ride back to Earth. Uh, and so we see that we're very competitive with the other space capsules, whether it's SpaceX uh, or Boeing or others. Um, we don't really see an opportunity, we don't see areas where we can't compete because Dream Chaser is actually a product line. We start with the crude version that we're, we're obviously we're on contract with NASA today to provide cargo resupply to the International Space Station. We fly that vehicle for the first time next year uh, with, with the investment capital that Bill uh, and the team are investing in Sierra Space. We're now accelerating our second uh, version of Dream Chaser, which is a uh, version that carries astronauts to and from the station. And at the same time, we're accelerating a national security version. And so we see this as a full long product line in which it will grow in capability from the products we have today. And we think that we will service all parts of the market with a, it was a franchise business in space planes. And Harry, and just, Bill, just to add what Tom said, yeah, if Bill. I could just, just quick, quickly add in, if you think about SpaceX and Blue Origin, they're competing in the launch business. 
and launch costs are, are declining rapidly. And that's a real driver of the market opportunity. And uh, we're not competing in the launch segment, we're really competing in transport, our space plane going up to space and providing a service, as well as longer term, the space station or destinations business, where we conduct experiments for the pharmaceutical industry, the healthcare industry, even the semiconductor sector. So it's, it's actually capitalizing on all the, the innovation and capital that's being invested by both SpaceX and Blue Origin. Right. Tom, Tom, this is a, this is a massive investment in terms of, of, of capturing one point four billion dollars, which you're, you're going to go out and spend. Um, how quickly can you get to profitability? How many more raises do you imagine you're going to have to have before you get there? Yeah, you know, our, our company today uh, is already generating revenue and generating profit. So we're already at profitability inside of Sierra Space. This investment of one point four billion allows us to accelerate. Uh, the products that we have in development and capture bigger parts of the market faster. Uh, so we're, we're, we're working towards already uh, capturing that billion dollar or, or trillion dollar TAM that Bill talked about. Our revenues today are just uh, around $400 million uh, today. And we see a long-term high growth in our business where we're capturing, again, transportation, destination business, and also the space application business and growing significantly our business, both in the top line, as well as significant margin recognition in our company. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.